Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you have been well. Before we start the video, I wanted to let you know that I stream weekly on Twitch and I hope you can join me. I made a goal to debut this character there um, when I hit 75 followers, so if you can help me do that, I'd appreciate it. You can watch some of my VODs of the content that I make over there on a YouTube playlist where I take the Computing Fundamentals course by Robbers Academy. If you'd like me to make content about anything else, please let me know. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, let's, let's look at some memes. Oh, this was 13 hours ago and it has so many upvotes. That's cool. Um, so, <clears throat> software engineer hacks Indigo Airlines website to find... Oh, so a software engineer to find their lost luggage after Sab did not help. The man had traveled. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good for them. Is that a meme? Do you guys think this is... <laughs> uh, right? It doesn't feel like a meme. <laughs> but, again, good for them. Okay, let's see if this is a meme. Um, how's it going? Terrible. I've been working on this thing for two days and I don't know what's wrong. First, it does this, then it does that, then, um, okay. Uh, I know what it is. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, I got it now. Oh, thank you, thank you, got it. It's like, uh, thank you for the help. Oh, no problem. Yeah, so this person just got, like, um, rubber ducked. I don't know, like... Uh, when you have a problem and you just talk about the problem, it solves sometimes. <clears throat> Things connect. Okay, yeah, very relatable. Think that user more memory than they should. Where is, where's Andrew Sudo? Really? Cool. <laughs> I, um, don't know what this is. Did they change the, did they change their logo? Oh, Photoshop. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, how about, what what is this thing I use? Yeah, OBS. Like my my laptop becomes like an airplane jet every time I stream. <laughs> yep, four months into my first software dev um, job and getting oh serious imposter syndrome. I have the worst imposter syndrome. Like I've been working in tech since I guess 2016 professionally, and I have imposter syndrome. My boss changing my entire code during code review. Me who thought my code was good. Yeah. I mean, someone senior to you can make you, can help you learn instead of changing everything if there isn't like a deadline. So, uh, feeling small isn't nice. Not funny. Let's, I'm here for humor people. I'm not here to feel, um, like actual feelings besides fun. My brain during a stand up meeting when someone finally says something relevant to me. My brain during any meeting though, especially online meetings but like if i need to talk then my brain uh the monkey's not there but if i don't need to talk the monkey is 100 percent there what's happening i don't use reddit on mobile reddit mobile and it's quirking button hit oh <laughs> see i get it now it's just bad design um so here when you click only this part probably is clickable but here the whole thing is clickable and here only this yeah this is this is bad but sometimes, like, working on a, with a platform, the platform is limiting. But I doubt this is platform-related issue. I've done um, Android or just, like, yeah. Oh, that's cute. How to regex. How to regex is just you Google it and then it finds one for you. Okay, favorite editor. That would be VS Code. And, um, ah, let my cat play on the keyboard. Cool. I like regex. I do. I use it. Like, I use it for finding stuff. Even, like, using, you know, VS Code and then Control F and then using it to find stuff. And, like, there are so many good, uh, if it's worth learning regex once a year and then forget about it. Um, for me, it's not been once a year, surprisingly. Because, like, the other day I was editing a document. It was, like, a long one. And I used regex to find words that were not in English. So that was useful. 
but uh, like there are so many online um, websites, platform things that help you validate it. So I don't think it's worth <laughs> learning, like sitting down and learning it. But understanding some parts is pretty useful. Every documentary about serial killers, he was alone. He had no friends. <laughs> he had no lover. <laughs> he spent all his time alone at home. Yeah, that, that's that's describing me. Oh. I was doing a coding assessment and there was a question to write a regex. Ah, that matches words with equal first and last characters. I probably don't remember how to do that. Oh, is that Yuri from Red Velvet? Um, so anything that's yellow, that's a warning. I, I don't see it. She doesn't hear it, but I don't see it. My, my brain, um, just, yep. Thank you, compiler, for showing me yellow warnings. But if it's not a red error, yep. Is, is, is she saying Antura? Like, can't, can't hear you? Cute. Oh, that's cute and sad. I wanted to dress my nephew as a zombie. <laughs> oh! Does he look like a full stack developer? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! Yes! I'm full stack and I. I am bad at front end, so like, do I deserve the title of full stack? But yes, full stack trying to do front end. I agree with you. The only thing that's, that would make them zombie is just green makeup. Otherwise, full stack developer. Um, when, oh, I know, right? Senior people should be non-toxic. See? See? The other one, the other meme, I, I thought um, it, it's not nice to have people who don't, who are not supportive of you learning. Um, I, I hope I was a good senior person because I had people um, who came after me who needed my help. So this, I will never forget this. I would fight for you, cute. But the, I would never forget this. Yes, you will forget this because you forgot to write it down. And you're going to ask me again. And I'm going to be patient. But I will ask you to write it down next time. Or even this time. <laughs> Because I've been there. Very relatable. See? <laughs> yeah, I understand if, if you don't understand anything the first six months. Especially if you're an intern. Like, you're not expected to know things. But if you're not an intern, you are expected to know some things. Ah, uh, me approving and managing my own pull request. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they were supportive of you. You felt the same about your boss about a week ago. That's sweet. That's sweet. I like people who are supportive. That was like, that needed less commentary, so I'll just move on. Uh, how to deal with the programming bullies, okay. Um, CSS isn't a programming language, so what? You don't find a job after boot camp. Aww. And then you are not a real programmer. Well, that's so sweet. PHP is trash, don't use it. Maybe I agree with the last person, because I don't like PHP, but the other ones are bullies. <laughs> Trying to figure out the logic behind where programs store their config files in Linux. I'm very new to Linux, so... <laughs> really? Like, this one is not really me. This one isn't me, but this one um, is like, don't get your hopes up. The possibility of you finding a job is way higher than most people, but still. Have imposter syndrome like me and then get good jobs. <laughs> and then still feel like you are. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be there, but sometimes I don't, which is good. What's happening? Oh, that's VS Code. Um, there you go, adding a function now. I'm sure you're gonna get it wrong, okay? What? What the hell? You declared a variable and never used it? <gasps> How could you do that? <laughs> Unless you're gonna... Hmm, I see you've assigned a value. Okay. I guess that's alright then. Don't get too confident. I'm watching you. Yeah, any any program, any any editor. Uh, some of them are just like too quick to say, or some of them are too late. Like yeah, it was um, SQL uh, MS Server that we had updated a, a store procedure, and it would show it as an error, and when you run it, it would be fine. So very relatable. <laughs> Do I dream about? code. I have, but not recently. Hey, are you sleeping? Yes. FYI, okay. Um, in Golang, your program will run if you declare a variable that you never used. 
<gasps> wow. Someone in Golang had really strong opinions about unused variables. Like, people behind it. I've never used it, so didn't know that. Thank you for the info. So this, she's trying to sleep, and the brain just gave her a solution to a problem, which is nice when it happens. But then you're like, write it down, because I know I'm going to forget it tomorrow. <laughs> um, displaying an image in HTML with no external libraries. Displaying an image in C with no external libraries. I've never used image in C. I've used it in MATLAB, but not C. Um, hi, I'm looking for free web host for my website. Oh my god. That's amazing. <laughs> what a suggestion. But like, there are so many platforms that allow you to host your website, but this is the best, obviously. Localhost. I don't think there isn't anyone in the chat who doesn't understand, so I'll move on. But if there is one, localhost is just um, something on your computer. It's not public. No one can use it, but you can publish stuff. I know, it's pretty fast, yeah. But sometimes it doesn't even need an actual internet. It's just a network, so very useful. Um, when you apply for your first dev job, okay, six months after... Oh, oh so you're still applying. Um, two weeks after you accepted the first offer and then updated your LinkedIn. So there isn't anything to apply for, and then after a while, something may open up, and then after you get accepted, other opportunities open up. Is that the point of the quote-unquote meme? Oh, uh, oh, okay, so the idea is, um, I mean, if, if you are any other, if you speak any other language besides English, programming feels very Anglo-centric. And even then, it's, you know, color, not color. I'm sure there are programming languages that are in other languages, but they're not widely used. What's happening <laughs> when you're running low on space, but your pop gives your computer a megabyte? Oh my god, that is adorable. Oh wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what is this? This is horrible. Cursive? Does VS Code have a, like, a plugin for that? That's... Can you guys read it? I mean, it's fun for the comment part, but wow, scary. It's my first time seeing programming in cursive. Let's hope I won't have nightmares about this. <laughs> Fira code? Is it a, like, editor? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was able to um, s see the first line of use effect and, um, and then loop over the collection something. I, if I make it bigger, I'll probably be able to read it. <laughs> oh, it's a font. C is your first language? Really? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't think um, cursive was your first language. I think our jobs are less... It has real-world repercussions, but you are able to... <laughs> oh, good, you're kidding. I thought you were being serious. <laughs> we are able to test things locally, but I don't know how these engineers are able to test their stuff. We have far more room to solve our issues before we make it, uh, we make other users use it. Aw, that's mean. It happens. Uh, <laughs> the junior dev, um, oh, senior, <laughs> that's funny, senior engineer. Um, how did you find the bug so easily? <laughs> That's adorable. I was there when it was written. Or, I wrote it myself and I, I uh, know more. Um, I recognize my issues. Because sometimes I do. Oh, really? Like that? Senhor? After every scrum meeting. Come on, developer, say it again. <laughs> okay, it's almost done. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> what I would say is like, give us two weeks. That's also something we say a lot. It will be in production in two days. Okay, that's funny. That's a good one. It's like I'm almost there. Is everywhere, I think. Um, bachelor. <laughs> Aww. Whoever shows good skills, that's it. If you have a bachelor's in CS or you've done... Because sometimes, I don't know the percentage because I've not been in a coding um, like boot camp, but they have more practical projects far more practical projects than like getting a bachelor's degree in computer science but i guess it's been a while since i've been in school so 
I hope things are better. After I drink coffee, I show my empty cup to the IT guy and say that I have successfully installed Java. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Mm, my Java is cold. Mm, do you guys know, I guess, where the word Java came from? I mean, I don't know much, but like the word kava, like kahva in Turkish or kahwa in Arabic. And it became Java, which is coffee. Um, coder is taking two weeks <laughs> to automate a five minute task. This is me. Yeah, I, I use, uh, Excel quite a lot in, in my current job and something breaking because someone changed something is a thing. Dear parent, be aware of <gasps> early signs that your child will become a developer. What's happening? Uh, write the following words in alphabetical order. Apple pumpkin. Log River Fox Pond. So Apple? What is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> they wrote it, they wrote the words, the letters of the word alphabetically. They are using, um, a, probably a ready made function from their brain. <laughs> ah, 2020. What a time. Meeting could have been an email. Yep. Oh, chat messages. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. I, I've seen the other part of the video in, um, like, somewhere someone sent me, but I have not seen this part. Software engineer, the, this entire department could be replaced <laughs> with a Python script. Hmm. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Yeah, a lot of things can be automated, but a human eye is currently needed. In 50 years, maybe it won't be. I don't know. Uh, when she says you're her number one, but you're a programmer. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. I, I'm learning R and I learned that R indexing starts, um, from one. So maybe she uses R. You never know. Oh my God. Oh my God. This reminds me of someone. Oh my God. Old computer science professor. Oh my God. I just remembered him. He was the sweetest person. Let's, let's read it. I learned so much from him. He was teaching us C++. Oh, no. He was teaching us, um, like, object-oriented programming through C++. Um, when I was your age, computers didn't have any, <laughs> yeah, graphical user interfaces. I actually had a really pretty young lecturer who said that they would write code on paper and then take it to the lab, which only had computers, and then they would run it. So maybe I'm the old one. Um, some people thought the internet was a fad. Okay. Um, the first computer I ever used was a mainframe computer. First language I ever used was Fortran or COBOL. He has a cool story about how he prevented a major Y2K related disaster. I will say my, um, lecturer was not that open about his past, <laughs> but he was really sweet. Yeah, no, actually, now it reminds me of two different people. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for kids who are currently learning to program by moving shapes and animating dogs as they're going to be hit with the cold re reality of real development, which is copy and pasting <laughs> any commands. Yeah, and resolving git merge uh, conflicts. PTSD, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really like Scratch, the MIT, I guess, program. That's for kids. So anyone who learns basic programming from there and comes to a job, yeah, they're going to be hit with some really cold reality, yeah. Um, I learned programming on my own without help from anybody. I'm a self-taught. Oh, really? Quora? Even Quora? Uh, I'd put Stack Overflow there instead of Quora, but it's a good one. <laughs> Multi-threading, I see. What is actually happening here? Are, I think this person is cleaning it. Why does this have no audio? It would probably be more funny if it did. This is so cute. And GPUs out there standing like, what, 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 what are you guys doing? <laughs> People should be this happy, um, in like their normal day jobs. Okay, let's see. A bunny? Machine learning. Okay. I'd actually put a rat there, because, you know, like lab rats, but let's see. Hard to train? Okay, okay. I guess lab rats may be easier to train. Um, dubious about uh, output from good input? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so fuzzy. Now I get why it's a bunny, not a rat. Um, okay, yep, pretty fast. 
Entertaining when not destructive. Aww. Um, likes to keep things hidden. Yep. Cute and cuddly. Hmm. So, it's decided. Yeah, no machine learning. Cats. Oh, wait, cats? Oh, my God, my brain went to cats. <gasps> I like cats. But, like, the cats can be fuzzy. I choose cats. <laughs> um, computer screams or screens. What's happening? Uh, moving RAM from a computer while it's on. <gasps> that is so cool. Wait, you can do that? This visually represents a computer screaming. <laughs> oh, God. As you chop off parts of its brain. Like, are you not afraid you, you will, um, like something bad happens? Oh, really? Okay. So it's probably like someone programmed, um, some hex colors and then, so you've tried it? I mean, tried it as in looked for it. I, it's my first time seeing this one. So thank you for letting us know. Oh, don't, don't. When, when the robot apocalypse happens, they're going to say it's time for my person to have some sufferings. So be careful with what you say. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, indentation. Yeah, I don't like indentation. You can do it. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. You, you, you can do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is me. This is me with Python. <sighs> oh, and yes, yes, yes. When it, it works, it does feel that way. Um, where did you get this code? Stack Overflow. Oh, from questions are the answers. Oh, so the boss um, knows a thing or two about Stack Overflow. British programmers find humor in this sub. Let's see. I wonder if British developers are irked every time. Ah, oh, they have to write color instead of color. Hmm. I worry about you sometimes, Candice. I worry about myself sometimes. Uh, are you two friends? No. I mean, everyone likes coffee, so someone had to name stuff coffee twice. Wait, what? This is for real? What is your desired salary range? And it's saying that your answer must not be greater than zero. Um, I guess 0 point minus one. Who did this? Hello, hi, are you a developer? Yes, okay, good. Did you have ready-made TikTok app? You mean already? No, do I have to? Um, you don't have ready-made? No? <laughs> Can you build it from trash? Maybe. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. Oh, so it's supposed to mean, um, can you build it from scratch? But that's a good one. Okay. Oh, that's a cute little bug. Um, yeah, all life is precious. IT JavaScript. Oh, so it's not an actual bug. I thought this was like a programming bug, and uh, they're saying that it's too precious for me to... Because, like, you can learn from it, but... Yeah, teaching JavaScript to beginning programmers as their first language. Why? Use whatever language that makes you happy. Except for R. R does not make me happy. <laughs> I'm I'm learning it and it's it fe feels very counterintuitive to everything that I've learned. For now. I hope it clicks later. <laughs> wow, a different error message. Finally some progress. Too relatable. Yeah. Cuz um isn't the definition of insanity doing the same thing and Expecting different results. Good and different error messages are nice. You have a problem. Regex is the solution. Now you have two problems. Yes. There's a saying that the plural of regex is regrets. Why do people d dislike regex? I like regex. I really do. People are mean. Um, technical interview. Oh, yeah. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. This is a hundred. Well, like... Maybe not 100%, but like very likely that what they ask you in the interview is like 50% of it is going to be useful in the job. But I don't know how the monkey became a dinosaur. Hmm. One never knows. Oh, rock, paper, scissors, and three lines of code. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good one, actually. Um, so we get a prompt saying rock, paper, or scissor, and then the answer is always a random uh, choosing of either you and you lose or it's a draw. That's a good one. You can do that for any game. 
and the person will never know like i was surprised when my daughter said she learned r at school huh yesterday oh <laughs> she probably just learned the letter and then i remember that she's four and she had the letter oh so i'm learning r yes yes everything is so skewed like you learn a word is being um said and it's like wait is this word what is happening oh that's so cool okay one of Developer brings new code into... <laughs> okay. Designers saying we all have similar ideas and now you stole my ideas. Yeah, I stole your code. <laughs> my code is not my code. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we all got it from the question that's 10 years old from Stack Overflow. As it should be. The 8-year-old is learning Python. And after dealing with a syntax bug, she... Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. And it's like, oh my god. So they're asking if the computer knows I'm missing a semicolon. Then why doesn't it add it? Some questions should not be asked. And this is one of them. <laughs> uh, what's going on? A client asking, what's going on with my website? It looks all wrong. It was looking just fine yesterday. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We download a page, check out the code. Well, looks as if someone's gone and delete. Oh no, some of the work, the code that makes the side work. Yeah. What? That was me getting rid of some unnecessary code. Wait, what? Why can client, why, why client delete code? What? Why? Even if they have access, why? How can client delete code? No. Don't be scared. Math and computing are friends. By the way, these large scary math symbols are just for loop for loops? See this this is so easy to understand, but this isn't. I mean it's just like um sigma, which is not the scariest. But this sort of is. Was Oh really? I didn't know what that was. There should be like something that there probably is something that says which um programming related concept and which math related concepts are related <laughs> that is nice due to my elite programming skills i figured out how to shave off 30 seconds oh my god that's a lot for my apps startup time here's some <laughs> optimization tips remove the sleep for 30 but is this 30 seconds or like milliseconds you added um, about a month ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So th this is actually a thing that happened. Debugging is cool. Six hours of debugging can save you five minutes of reading <laughs> documentation. Yes, yes, yes. You're like, okay, let me fix this. And they're like, okay, but what if I try this? And then and then this um, error message is like this. And then, yeah. Mm, a relative asking, so I heard you are good with computers, right? Um, this, this is like, fix my printer, which, like I said, my printer has not been working for like six months and I'm too lazy to check it. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah. Yeah, this, this needs six hours. Okay. Six hours of debugging. Okay. Dad is asking. My maid needs a website designer. I told him 500 pounds. I've Send him your number. Okay, how big is the website? Okay, I mean, that's not a um, normal question, but normal screen size. So they don't want uh, mobile to be compatible with phone screens. Cool. Got it. Um, first thing our new hire did was fix a bug that's been bugging him forever. As a user, that's so cool. Prior to joining. Then he breathed out a sigh of release. Oh my god. Submitted his two weeks notice. That is so cool. So they're a user that's annoyed with something and they got hired and then they... That feels like, I don't know, like um movie. Oh god. It worked, it worked. Feels like um Frankenstein, the scientist. My son screamed with joy from his room. I'm teaching him to code Python and left him alone to solve a problem. Uh, son... That feeling you had never goes away for as long as you code. Aw, this is why programmers love to code. Update. Now he's, yell he's yelling, it's not working now. This makes no sense. Son, <laughs> this feeling that never goes away as long as you code. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, kid. Okay, you're a software engineer. 
So you have a rainbow computer with two monitors? Honestly, I don't. I have one monitor, and I don't have a rainbow keyboard or a rainbow. Do people have rainbow computers? Or does is this supposed to mean a rainbow keyboard? Yeah, no. So I, I am not insulted. Okay, bye.